Hello students, this video is for the students of B.Tech final year. Topic of video is guidelines for report and presentation of seminar. Let's start. What is the objective of the seminar? The objective of the seminar is to impart training to the students in collecting materials on a specific topic from books, journals and other sources, compressing and organizing them in a logical sequence, and presenting the matter effectively both orally and as a technical report. The use of slides, transparencies and overhead, slide, Multimedia projector is also introduced to the user during the seminar. Choosing the topic. The seminar shall be an in-depth study of a topic, which does not form a part of the regular curriculum. Choose a current topic of mechanical engineering, production and industrial engineering. The full text can be prepared with all drawings, tables, references, etc. The contents shall not be a mere repetition of the reference material. There shall be a minimum of 2-3 journal, magazine references of recent time related to the topic. Presentation of topic based on mere website data is not allowed. Seminar Guidelines Seminar is a course requirement wherein under the guidance of a faculty member a student is expected to do an in-depth study in a specialized area by doing literature survey, understanding different aspects of the problem and arriving at a status report in that area. While doing a seminar, the student is expected to learn investigation methodologies, study relevant research papers, Correlate work of various authors, researchers critically, study concepts, techniques, prevailing results etc., analyze it and present a seminar report. It is mandatory to give a seminar presentation before a panel constituted for the purpose. The grading is done on the basis of the depth of the work done, understanding of the problem, report and presentation by the student concerned. In-depth study in a specialized area. Guides must ensure that topics being offered to students must be within the scope of a third-year B.Tech student. It could either be an extension of what the student has learned in one of his courses or a related topic of research interest. The student must meet the guide regularly and discuss what he, she has read and understood and also clarify doubts if any. Learn investigation methodologies. The basic idea of this part of the seminar is to acquaint the student of methods of carrying out a literature survey on a given topic. Methods of literature survey can include journal holding index search, books, and internet searching, journal, conference websites. Guide providing all the relevant literature defeats the above purpose. Some basic instructions on where, how to begin the search may be provided by the guide. The minimum number of sources of literature survey must be 4 to 5. The list may not be an exhaustive collection of papers on the topic, but a few that are of immediate relevance to the topic. Depth of the work done, understanding of the problem. A student who has done a very in-depth study need not necessarily have understood the problem and vice versa. It is therefore necessary to have a balance between the depth of the work and understanding of what he, she has learned in this process. Grading is to be partly based on the depth of work done and understanding of the problem. Examiners must check whether the student has understood the problem to the extent a third-year B.Tech student is expected to, on which the in-depth study was carried out. Merits of evaluation. Number 1. Regularity. Based on whether the student has kept the guide updated on his progress, at least one contact hour per week. Number 2. Quality of work. Based on depth of work done and understanding of the problem. 
whether the student has learnt investigation methodologies described above. Number 3 Quality of Report Based on whether the student has expressed his, her understanding of the topic. Whether the student has followed the guidelines given for report preparation. Number 4 Quality of Presentation Based on whether the student has been able to express his, her understanding of the topic. Whether the student has been able to satisfactorily answer questions of the panel members. Guidelines for preparation of report. Number 1 Report should have at least 40 and at most 60 pages. Number 2 The entire pages of the report should be in a 4 size strictly, with 1 inch top and bottom margin and 1.25 inches left and right margin. Number 3 The entire report should be typed in Times New Roman with 12 point. Number 4 The title and main headings of the paragraphs are to be in bold. Number 5 Report may be divided into the number of chapters as required, with chapter number assigned on the top left corner and chapter name immediately below it, with single line spacing, using Times New Roman 16 point bold. Number 6 Each main paragraph or heading should be numbered with a whole number. For example 3. Number 7 Every subheading should be given decimal of whole number of the heading. For example 3.1. Number 8 Subsidiary paragraphs to the subheads may have decimal points of the subheads if required. For example 3.4.2. Number 9 One paragraph should only deal with a single issue and sub-issues should be dealt in sub-paragraphs numbered accordingly. Number 10 Each line should be separated by a line spacing of 1.5 and each paragraph by line spacing of 2. Number 11 The complete text should be justified in the report, no left or right aligning. Number 12 No short forms are to be used in the report besides the specified areas. Number 13 Numbering of each page should be done in the footer section at the bottom right corner. Number 14 Numbering of each figure and table should be done according to the chapter number. Number 15 List of contents in the report. First page cover page and title page. After this certificate, after this acknowledgements, after this page abstract, then table of contents, after this list of tables, if any, after this list of figures, if any, then chapters, after this appendix, if any, and the end references. See guidelines for presentation. Use the overhead multimedia projector for the presentation as it is an effective aid for good communication. It helps one to organize the sequence of the material presented. Number 1 Familiarize with the working of the projector before the presentation. Check that the fonts for equations, symbols are appearing properly. Number 2 The presentation shall be limited to 15 minutes plus 10 minutes questions and answers. There will be credit for the novelty of the topic, contents of the seminar, the effectiveness of presentation, and the way questions and queries are answered. Number 3 Presentations shall be prepared using presentation software like MS PowerPoint. If necessary, use charts, drawings, etc. Number 4. Write only points on the slides. Use telegraphic language instead of long sentences. The slides shall not be a copy of the text of one seminar report. Ideally 6 to 8 lines only shall be there on each slide. Number 5. Equations shall be given in the final form only. Derivations shall be avoided on slides. However, the derivations can be prepared as separate slides with links from the main presentation so that the same can be used if need arises.
Number 6. Use colors to make the slides attractive and to highlight the important points. However, remember that the use of too many different colors can make the slides ugly. Number 7. Choose the letter sizes corresponding to the importance of the points. Use bold, italics type or different colors to stress words or sentences of importance. Number 8. Ensure that all the material presented on slides is legible when projected. Number 9. Reading of the written, typed material or from the slides is not acceptable. Number 10. Always remember that you are communicating with people and not to the projector or the screen or the board. It means that eye contact shall not be lost at any time. In the event of the presentation of the seminar found unsatisfactory, the student shall be asked to repeat the same. You must have understood these guidelines for seminar I have explained. Thank you.